we practice on humans, so it would be nice to know what is it can, that we can actually do with our adult humans now that does not involve drugs. So a lot of studies on adult amblyopes have to do with actively stimulating the vision. All right, so if we can actively stimulate the vision, we get their visual attention engaged more in the process, and that visual attention engagement seems to drive this cortical plasticity. So in the last 15 years or so, we have this concept of perceptual learning to improve certain functions. Now, perceptual learning is basically just a change in a perceptual ability that has come about because of practice. So perceptual learning can be observed in all sensory modalities, but we're going to restrict our talk to improvement in visual functions. So with vision, they practice in a sensory-enriched environment and they practice in sensorily, sensorily enriched procedures to try to improve their visual um, abilities on certain tasks. And it's been done with all kinds of visual tasks, specifically grading acuity and stereo acuity. And visual, uh, perceptual learning or improvement in these visual tasks has been shown not only in patients with amblyopia, but we can also improve patients with normal vision. And you can kind of think of what people are doing in sports vision training that's actually a type of perceptual learning. 